Hey everyone, welcome to Tacoma Games. Today I'm going to be doing a video on farming and levels. Um, the particular level I'm going to be talking about is the Secret Totem Grid. So this is located in between Totemshire 11 and Totemshire 12. Um, before I get into things, if you find yourself here, enjoy the videos, please subscribe to our channel, give us a like, um, comment if there's anything in particular you want me to cover. I do plan on doing a video on Arcadia at some point. I'm just trying to build up a little bit of stuff in there. And I'm also going to do a video on the upcoming Camp and Chill. It's going to start on August 23rd. Um, I've done a video on how I'm prepping for that. And because I'm prepping for that in camp, um, I don't have a lot of room to get coins. Um, so this particular um, level, the Secret Totem Grid, um, I've used for a lot of things. I started it as coin farming. Um, it's turned into a lot since then. So let's go in. Um, I want you guys to note that it shows that it's going to cost me seven chalices to get into this level. So when you um, start farming on a level and you leave the progress open, it will cost you seven chalices to get back in. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I think the Secret Totem Grin is a pretty low chalice level to begin with. It might be a one. I can't remember. It's been so long since I um, started farming this level that I can't recall how many chalices it used to be. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind that if you have a level that you like to use to work through for other things, to get rewards, um, to work through season tasks or whatever, um, not worth it to farm on that level because it's going to cost you so many chalices to get back in if it's like one of those quick levels um, for some of those things. So just something to keep in mind. Um, so let's dive in here. So right now you can see that um, I have my, my grid here full. Um, I do have some stuff bubbled because I'm working up to things. Um, so I have some higher level of the puddles here. Um, I'm working towards gaining what wonders I can in here because I've had some requests for some of the wonders. Um, and you know, you never know things you can give season, the season portal and the event portal for those of you that have those beta features you can give things from levels i can walk through how to do that as well um so i started this as a level for coin farming so what i mean by that um as you can see i have a ton of, of coin storage and i don't always have room in my camp to grind for coins so I started on this level and um, because we have the um, Midas tree chain in this level and you can get a bunch of these duck dragons and they drop these mounds of rich stuff which you can get coins out of and then as you merge the apples you get these level four golden coins. So let me merge and create some room so we can see. Okay. So it pops out a bunch of these level four magic coins, the gold ones. And you can level up to higher level coins pretty quickly this way. Um, let's see what I have here. So I currently have one, two, I thought I had more than that, but maybe I didn't. Okay, so I currently have two level eight, the magic gem of fate. Um, oh no, I do have four, they're over here. I was gonna say, I knew I had more, okay. So I currently have four of these. I was going to say, I knew I had this prepped and I'm like, where did it go? I hope I didn't collect them by accident. Okay. 
so as you can see i already have these here um and i have these mounds of rich stuff here and uh when i merge the apples it spit out some more of these gold coins so it it does add up pretty quickly um i'm gonna spit out what's here and collect what i can because this should get me up to where i want to be um let's see of course those all spit out those okay so i'm all oh here we go let me let me finish merging what i actually have out here before i start getting distracted okay so i'm gonna go ahead i normally will merge in fives but i'll go ahead and merge in three through that step just to show you guys this all right so what i do is i come in here when i have some time and i grind to get coins and then once I get up to these magic gem of life, if there's something that I need in camp, I'll go ahead and collect those. If I don't need something in camp right away, I'll just leave them in here until I need them. I have a lot of coin storage right now, but I don't like to keep it full full because I've had um, the event um, the event portal ask me for, you know, to create um, certain level coin things in camp and so just so I don't end up just having everything a mess um, I won't collect these unless I ab absolutely need them I am going to collect them today because I'm working on um, leveling up some dragons in order to get a tier two two tier nest for the upcoming camp and show I went into that in an earlier video on how I'm prepping for that if you guys want I can link that below um, so because I'm doing a bunch of prep for that camp and show I currently have a pretty full camp um, and rather than try to earn coins in there I just came in here um, because I knew I already had now when I started this uh, last night I already had two of these level eights but I built up to three more pretty quickly I had a little bit of active play late last night and then a little bit this morning and it doesn't take long like i said because these apples when you merge them they spit out those level fours and usually if you're doing a mass merge like if i fill my board completely it will usually level me up to at least a couple of these level sixes um within just a few minutes i find it happens to go a little bit faster than in camp mostly because my camp is super full and in here right now I only have out the Midas trees as far as harvestable items um, I have a bunch of things bubbled um, see I have some wonders here bubbled I have some level 5 bushes bubbled I have some trees some nests some fruit trees um, I've given things from this level I've given wonders I've given a, a fruit tree I've given um, I've given some of the stone stuff, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so other than farming for coins, which is what this level started as, um, I have also done creation quests in here. Uh, like I had a, a quest to create a certain level of Midas tree, or not a quest, um, it was a event reward quest task. Not, and um so doing things in levels does count for them um so i'll show you guys quick how to access that stuff from a level so as far as the season portal um the season portal you can access here so you open this up and it says season portal here in the lower left and it says go to portal so you click on that and it shows you what your current um, quest or task is. So this is one I started working on in camp and I my season portal is fully upgraded here right now at a level 10. So um, I'm not super um, 
I don't know if motivated is the right word, but I guess that's what I'm going to go with here. Um, I'm not super motivated to keep um, doing these other than the fact that some of them spit out really good rewards. Um, so in a prior video, I think it was my um, prepping for the camp and chill video, I showed um, me completing one of the season portal tasks and the reward was a pretty good one. So that's why I do go back into these and keep um, completing them because some of them are just too good to pass up. Um, so anyway, once you get into the season portal, if you have an item that it's asking you to give, um, and it's something that you can do on a level, it'll, this is how you can get into that. So you go into the, um, season menu, go to the portal, and if you're in need to give something, there'll be that little icon here that says give. And if you have that item in your level, you click that, it gives it, that fulfills that task. So similarly with the event portal, um, you have to have the event icon. So right now there is an ongoing event. So this event icon is here in the lower left. Um, if that icon is not there, like say we're between events and the next one's not for, you know, I don't know, four days or whatever it is before this icon pops up for the next event, you can't complete a give task you can complete like a creation or a harvest, but you can't get to the portal from a level. So it's, you'd have to go in and out of camp in order to access that. So right now, because there is a current event, this icon is here. You go ahead and click that and it brings up this event portal menu. So in the lower left hand corner, again, you see the upgrade button. So if you click on that, it brings up what your current task is. So my current task is creating Doom Cross and merging Dark Grim Trees, which I've already completed. Um, so these are things, again, where if you have a give task, it will show just like it does in the season portal. And that little icon will be here if you have that item in your camp, or I'm sorry, in your level. And you go ahead and click that. And that's how you give from a level. So similarly, if you are completing a task in a level, in order to collect the reward and move on to the next task, you do the same thing. You come into this portal menu, you hit the upgrade, and if this, these are both completed, the little collect reward will be down here. You go ahead and click that. It will move on to the next um, task that it's going to ask you to do. I have used this secret totem grid for quite a few of those tasks. Um, things like merging dragons or tapping nests. As you can see, I have a bunch of nests bubbled up here. I have a bunch of um, chests down here that are waiting to be opened. And if I have a task for the season or for the event or for one of the portals that involves merging dragons or merging eggs, this is usually where I will come to do it if my den chest has already reached maximum points for the week. Um, my den usually reaches maximum points very quickly. So if it's like, you know, even by the end of the day on the first day, um, I'll come, I'll come in here and do that in here because it's, uh, it's just going to be a lot quicker and then I can save other merges for the next den chest the following week. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Um, so that is how I utilize Secret Totem Grid. Um, I know some people just use it for Midas trees. Like I said, I have some stuff bubbled because um, in the past I've come in here and I've been able to complete quite a few tasks or um, requests pretty quickly in a quick succession here. Um, you know, I have these cabins here bubbled. They spit out the, the bushes, which you then merge for these wonders. And, um, you know, if, if there's been specific tasks for merging uh, mystery eggs. So this is another level I use for that. And it goes pretty quickly because I have these things here and prepped. Um, so this is how I utilize that. And um, I, I do like this level. I have other farming levels, which I will do videos on. 
um, at some point. Um, this is my pretty much my favorite one because you can do a lot more in it um, than some of the other ones that I have. And uh, it's just very versatile. And the nice thing is, is I, the way I have this set up now, the only thing they can harvest from is these Midas trees. So if I want to, I can clear my grid. You know, I'll pop whatever chest that I have, clear my grid, open it up, and I will let them harvest from these Midas trees overnight. And then um, it usually doesn't take too long to fill up the board, but then like these higher level ones, they'll they'll drop those um, mounds of riches, piles of riches and stuff. So if they're just floating around and the board is empty is usually kind of when they will drop those. Um, and then they add up pretty quickly because they, they spit out quite a bit. Alright guys, so that's how I use the secret totem grid level. And um, like I said, I do have other levels that I use for farming. I will go into them just because different people um, may want to use different levels. So I'll go into what other ones I use for farming. Just so you guys can get an idea of what ones um, are pretty easy to set up. And what ones can be set up for which things. Um, this one is one of my favorite ones for coin farming. I do have these um, higher level stones here. Um, the level nines. I will use those sometimes if I want to grab some stone bricks. I do have, you know, Stonehenge. I have five Stonehenge um, wonders in camp. And they harvest pretty quick. So I usually don't use this for stone unless I need both stone and coin all at the same time. Then I will just because I'm already here. I am trying to build these up and will eventually work on building these up into stone hinges um, just in case because I don't want to give away the stone hinges that I have in camp and I've seen some people say that they've had requests asking for them. Oh, look at that. There's a pile of riches that one of my duck dragons spit out. Um, so I don't, I don't like to, I don't like to give those from camp because I use them for a lot of things. So, um, so yeah, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any particular questions or any particular content that you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comments. Again, if you like this video and my other videos, please subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be posting more content. I would be happy to post specific content if there are specific questions that you guys have about levels or about tips or tricks or anything. Um, as I've said before, if there's something that I don't know, I'm more than happy to go ahead and find out how to do something. I would love to find out new things. Um, I'm up for doing some research, so let me know, and I hope everyone has a great day.